Mr. Math here, thanks for watching my videos. Be sure to like and subscribe and remember to click the bell icon to be notified of updates. Hello again viewers, welcome back to Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Uh, before we actually get started, I hope there's not too much white noise coming through the microphone right now. It's uh, kind of busy around here at the moment. Lots of stuff happening in the background. But uh, we're just going to do the best we can. So here we are in Argentum. We're working on the... Uh, what's the name of that side quest again? Well, it's not telling me. The riddle on the wall. We're working on the riddle on the wall. And we have found uh, most of the parts. There's six parts total. We have four of them. We need to find one more and then go back to that fellow we spoke to in Torgoth and get him to give us the remaining piece. But while we're here in Argentum, well, first of all, I want to check out the recipe for uh, love source. So, uh, still kind of short on plumage peaches. I have enough to make four more, four more love sources. Sumpkins and Don hydrangeas are found in uh, Gormot. Plumage peaches are found in Etheria, and Melodious Melons, I do believe, are found right here in Argentum. So at least I know where everything is. The Fluttergrass, well, I have to go to Tantal to get one every single time. Now let's see. This should be a... Uh, and not a botany one, an agronomy gather point. So if I get out a bunch of agronomy blades... Let's see, there's... Uh, Corset. Oh, I'm trying to put her over uh, Mithra there. Corset. Call on me anytime! And Zami, where is she? There she is. Together at last. <laughs> and then, of course, Cassandra. I wish I could share my luck with everyone. Uh, I was just noticing that Morag does not have very many rare blades. She has Bridget and Aegean, which the story gave her. And Cassandra, Newt, Electra, Finch. Harold and Corvin. So a decent selection, definitely. Uh, Zeke has 10, Mark has 8. Okay, I guess she's, she's not too bad off. But it doesn't seem like she has very many. Well, uh, I'm getting distracted here, aren't I? Okay. Okay, there's a melodious melon. Only one, though. Now, this is a botany point, as I recall. So now I need a bunch of botanists. Wait a second, isn't that just a zombie? Yeah, a zombie has botany. I was thinking agronomy, but she has botany, not agronomy. Oh well, no matter. Uh, draw mark. I am at your service. And now... Botany. I'm kind of short on that, as I recall. Yeah.
Finally, it's my turn. And I made the A team score. Okay. Dora, just take a peek here. Come on, come to Dora on. heals an aching soul. I only got two. Darn it. Okay, I didn't see any melodious melons there. Did I have out? Right, I had Cosmos. Ready for departure, Master. And then I had Nia. Showtime. And Cora. It's been a long time coming. Always cute and fierce, though. And then Morag had. She had Finch. Maybe I should bring back Cassandra. Yeah. A fine choice, good sir. All right. So, Rododo, I need to talk to Rododo while I'm here. Hmm. Yada yada yada. Oh, saw it. Yeah. This. Uh, is for one of the side quests that I got from the notice board. I got Perun's Blade quest, but there was another side quest on the notice board down below that I had to pick up first in order to get Perun's Blade quest, so I'm finally addressing that. Try your luck. Huh? No brains will be no good, though. Read, read. This is... Archive match found. I'm on it. Test activated. Passed. Good. Big rubber stamp. Meh <laughs> Not stupid. This good. Congratulations. Friend have job. For reals? Hereby name you Rododo's helper. Now your duties. Go to upper level of here. Open door. See inside. Tell Rododo. Argentum person cannot open door. Many try. All fail. Tora want more info. Details are mystery. So open door. Then truth reveal. Origin of us. Heh <laughs> Okay, but not have key. Don't know location of key. Helper must find. Tora will do best effort. Can't make promise. Begin duties. Okay, so he has something else to say. Since many Nopon is merchant, is Nopon tendency to think about efficiency in everything. That's also manifest in Nopon food. Use lots of oil, fry quick on strong fire, then food done. Food ready quickly and full of nutrient. Very efficient, very Nopon cooking way. Rododo personally good at making lightly fried rice while reading historical document. Of course, this also means precious historical documents get covered in oil. Yeah, that sacrifices a larger bit of efficiency for a more immediate bit of efficiency. Pennywise pound foolish, you might say. Okay, so Rododo was talking about a door up here. And unless I miss my guess, I should already have the key. Tonodon. Anything new from you? Here is fact that not many people know. Goldmuth actually powered by manual labor. There is secret room somewhere in Goldmuth with running wheel. And force of Nopon running in wheel is what drive Goldmuth Titan to move. Goldmuth Titan, very lazy beast, so not move at all without significant Nopon force pressure. Tonodon only know about this because it was assigned to running wheel repairs once. Friends not go spreading this around, okay? Oh no, I'm not going to tell the entire world on a YouTube video or any such thing. Anyway, the door is up here. Come on, there we go. Can I stir up some wind? Okay, Goldmouth Rooftop. We could have come up here quite a while ago, but eh. Very nice. Opening protocol in gay raising. Coochie coochie coo. Archive match found. I'm on it. Alrighty. 
Did anything fall over? Let's see. Nothing except Nia. Ah, but she made it up here. Okay. Shrine door. I believe I do have the key. Yes, yes I do. You get this from helping that Alasday fellow, who you meet in Moor Ordain and then take to Garfont Village in Uriah, and he Underride. studies those. Uh, woot, woot. Neo, what in the world was that? But anyway, he goes to Garfont and he studies those um, uh, Napon murals. And at the end of that, you get a mysterious, or I don't remember, some kind of key. An, an old key, a corroded key, you know, some kind of key. And that key is the what unlocks this door. Uncover the truth. Okay. Go ask Rododo about the statue. He's by Goldmouth Flight Deck and Argentum. Okay, so I gotta go down and talk to Rododo again. Meh. Meh. Let's see, there was a treasure trove. Yeah, there's a treasure trove right below me. I just have to very carefully. There we go. What is inside? Bob? Socks. Common Core Crystal, Machine Hunter 3. Pretty mess stuff, but eh, whatever. Me, me, me. Oh. Okay, Rododo. Hello, Helper. Give Rododo report. Tora explains. So, Helper saw a statue of Nopon with the eye patch and funny hat. That must be Captain Nopapon. Captain Nopapon, legendary Nopon pirate. Traces of Captain Nopapon. In such a place, wowee! <clears throat> Sorry for outburst. So, stomach indentations. Round one and square one. Probably need two different parts. One for each indentation. Help her find them, fit them in. Well, guess what we just happen to be doing right now. So if we go check out, uncover the truth again, find a part that would fit the round cavity on the statue in Naponya Shrine, find a part that would fit the square cavity on the statue in Naponya Shrine. So each of those parts, you know, the round part and the square part is made from three different pieces, each one. And I'm looking for six mysterious pieces. Isn't that convenient? Also convenient, I know where the missing one is. It is in Tantal. Not the land of Mortha. If we go to Theoswar. I hope I can find it. Let's rest the spell. Let's press on. The main problem is always figuring out how to get up to where it is. I always have trouble remembering. Mm, I think that's it right over there, that air current on the ground. Can I stir up some wind? Poppy boosters engaged! Ha! Is that all? Let's go Very up well. like firecrackers! Lots of leaping. Uh, come on, Tora. Get the ladder, please. There we go. And in here. I think I need Earth Mastery for this part. Uh, Let's see here. Let's get as much Earth Mastery as I can fit in. 
Wolfric has four it sounds fun. levels of it. And... I'll shine on the front line, too! I don't know for sure if that'll be enough. So there we go. Let's prove our new powers. Morag has six levels of Earth Mastery. Wolfric gives Rex four levels, so that's ten total. That ought to be more than enough. Treasure trove, perhaps? Ah, I don't see anything. Okay. Earth, grant Here me we go. strength. I think I'll show you my power. Poppy boosters engaged. Ha! So I only needed seven levels. It's a new day, everyone. I love the promise of a new day dawning. Okay, so you guys might remember this fella, who makes. Uh, stuff out of elk horn or excuse me elk horn which I don't have any of what I didn't notice when I was here before is that ladder right there that's the jump button. I didn't actually succeed at jumping, but I still managed to catch the ladder. Wall painting! Optic nerve auxiliary circuit unlocked. Very well. Archive match found. Right, I had to remove uh, a Gian, didn't I? I guess I didn't have to, but I did. I didn't have to remove him, but I removed him, so. It's been a long time coming. Always cute and fierce, though. A fine choice, good sir. Hello there. Optic nerve auxiliary circuit unlocked. Very well. Archive match found. I'm on it. Tantalese mural. So, one in the drift-covered black bridge. So we need to go down to Gembu's Drift. But you know what? As long as we're here in Tantal, let's get another Flutterheart Grass so that I can make another Love Source when and if I want to. Too, Master Pond. Meh. Meh, meh, meh. Oh. Dora, just take a peek here. Okay, let's see here. Let's get a good running start. In my experience. Okay. Da -da -da. Dora, just take a peek here. Yeah. Sniff them out. Sniff them good. I have learned, by the way. That even when you have a blade up to S rank, trust, S rank trust, is still worth it to keep increasing their trust until they get all the way up to S plus. Because that increases their battle damage. Giving Love Source 
giving love sources to blades that have not yet reached S plus trust, still worth it. Right then. So we need to go down to the Genbu Drifts. Oh, look. <laughs> it's right there. Where to, Master Pawn? I am pretty sure I'm going to need Ice Mastery for this. Well, here I am. I hope things went well. Well, let's find out. Not doing that again. <laughs> Nicely done, chaps. You might be right, Dagus, because we don't have any Merc missions left to do. A field I would like to foster. Yeah, we're pretty much fresh out. The only Merc mission we haven't done yet is that one holdout for um, Sheba's Tea Parties. And I can't do it yet because I don't have all the requirements. I need three blades with focus. And I only have two that I'm allowed to send on Merc missions. That will change pretty soon. But for now, I'm kind of stuck. On another note, I need blades with ice mastery, I am pretty sure. Don't let me get rusty. Uh, do I have anyone besides Perun? Ursula does not have ice mastery. You can count on me. All right, that should do it. I hope that'll be enough at least. Very nice. Stay frosty. Leave this to me. Iron heart beats and I can take that. No problem. Okay. Inside box. Opening protocol Sweet in Coochie, coochie, The Blamo. Mysterious Part C. Well then, that finally takes care of that. Alright, Perun, thank you for your service. Praxis, I've come back out, for please. This. And hello there. Hmm. Do I want to keep Finch out? Yeah, let's keep Finch out. Alrighty. Well, we have the four other pieces. I think now we need to go back to Torgoth and speak to old what's his name again. And beat him up and mug him for the uh, remaining piece, basically. Let's rest the spell. Let's press on. Erebos, that's his name. It's right down there in the current objective. So you made it. You don't need to say a word. You beat me to it, didn't you? My grandpa got this treasure from salvaging. Apparently it comes from the ancient sunken titan of Torna. Yeah, he went deep. Deeper than most veteran salvagers feared to dive. And this is what he came back with. But it took a lot out of him, the poor guy. He died not long after. 
Gather ye the pieces three and three, and the hero's treasure ye shall reap. That's what was written on the chest with the piece he'd found. He entrusted me to find the other five pieces. But I couldn't find any of them. What's the point if I only have one? Come on, put your pieces on the line and we'll do battle one last time. To the victor goes the spoils. Nah, nah. I've lived for this moment. Me and my grandpa both. Okay. Sora will beat them no Already finished mom. Oh, anyway, we could talk our way out of this. No? <laughs> Too late, Cora. You uh, beat him to smithereens. So I was destined for defeat, was I? Yeah, you were dealing with level almost seventy adventurers. You weren't gonna win. Are you alright? I thought I was pretty good, but you guys are something else. Go on, take it. My grandpa's treasure. My treasure. Mysterious Part E. I said take it, damn it! I wasn't good enough. I couldn't get all the pieces myself. Huh? Wait a sec. Show me those pieces again, would you? Something wrong. If you put each set of three together, it looks like they form two shapes, a circle and a square. Gather ye the pieces three and three, and the hero's treasure ye shall reap. But it doesn't seem like these shapes themselves are the treasure. Well, whatever. From now on, the treasure hunting's up to you. Seek out that ancient Nopon treasure for me, would you? Leave it to the Zekinator. As for me, I'll just have to find myself some new treasure to hunt for. See you around, mates. Alright. Shield attachment, polygon ship, and specials level 3 plus 3. Gold, XP, and SP as usual. The mural led you to six parts, but where is the ancient treasure they're supposed to be used with? Well, conveniently enough, I happen to know the answer to that. Oh, Mithra's up to S4. Oh, Gian's doing pretty good, too. Okay, let's see here. Off to Argentum we go. Let's talk to Rododo again, see if he says something new. We came a pretty long way, eh? Come out, come out, bad guy! The gather points are back. All right, let's pull out our uh, agronomy team. Okay, uh, corset. Call on me anytime. And Cassandra. I wish I could share my luck with everyone. And Poppy QT is the third blade. With agronomy. Dora, just take a peek here. Agriculture is Poppy's Leave it to me. Field. I it know more than I let all off. This stuff right out of the ground. I don't believe I got any melodious melons there. It's kind of irritating. Oh well. That's how it goes sometimes. Showtime! It's been a long time coming. Always cute and fierce, though. Now, suddenly I'm kind of curious. How's Pyra doing? Specifically her affinity chart. Vey Taus of the World Tree. Use a blade art. Swap blades during battle. Previous instances count toward total. I just need her to use one more blade art. I should probably put her in the lead for just a single fight. And that'll get her that blade art, probably. Make food. Okay. That's simple enough to grind out. As long as I have the ingredients, obviously. Yeah, you know what? I'm going to leave Pyra up 
front. In fact, let's do that literally. I'm glad to be of service. Yeah, she can be up front. And let's just make sure we've got a good courtship here. She's got a pretty high attack power. Ooh. Uh, I don't want to use the silver chip, though. Increase the enemy gold drop rate. That might come in handy later. Yeah, it looks like I don't have anything... I don't have anything else better than what she's currently equipped with, so uh, yeah, that'll do. And Ox Cores, Affinity Max Attack 3, and Critical Up 4. I can live with that. Right then. Just one or two more fights and she ought to do a Blade Art and get that part of her Affinity Chart sorted out. Um, okay, so nothing new here. Just repeating that business about Nopon food. Okay, I guess we just gotta go back up. Off we go! Where to, Master Pon? Captain Nopapon statue. What do you want to do? Insert a part in the round cavity. Round dent. Mysterious part A, B, and E. Uncover the truth. Okay. Square dent, the series parts C, D, and F. Something written. Coordinates? That near Garfont. We go. Near Garfont, is it? Explore the coordinates in the vicinity of Old Valant Valantia in Garfon. Okay. Quick trip to Araya then. We came a pretty long way, hey? Oh, another come work out, mission. Come out, bad guy! Ah, it's you. You've built up the Garfont mercenaries so much at this point, I can scarcely believe it myself. If Vandom were here to see it, I dare say he might even shed a tear or two. And, of course, there are new jobs available. Feel free to peruse them. Okay. Oh, that was something different. Looked like he was saying the same thing. If you built up the Garfont mercenaries so much at this point, I can scarcely believe it myself. If Vandom were here to see it, I dare say he might shed a tear or two. With all the blades and members you've assembled, we're a formidable fighting force, to say the least. You've got everything so well organized that there's precious little for me to do these days. Not that I'm complaining. We're now the number one Merc group. There ain't a person in town who ain't heard the name of Garfont Mercs. And you know what? We couldn't have done it without you, kid. If he were here today, Vandom would be proud. Alright. Any other Merc missions around? Can't see any offhand. There's Vale. Don't you worry about me. I'll just do whatever. One of my common blades. 
I have had sufficient rest. Perhaps it's time my skills were put to use. Oh, what's up with that Jelvid? Something wrong? Hmm, how do I... He's been acting scary lately. Jelvid is... His eyes all blazing and stuff. What could have happened? Right, the Jelvid was that uh, kid who's parents were killed on uh, a mission. Urbel has a Merc mission for us. Come on, I don't want to go down. Ah, I have to go down and talk to him. Thanks, for your, thanks to your help, this band has grown larger than ever. Now we've got everything well sorted out, it might be time we started organizing mock battles with other Merc bands. Huh? You think our men are going to grow strong just from doing push-ups and practice swings in the training ground? Facing enemies in a proper combat situation is a trigger the men need to take a good hard look at themselves. Oh, I see. We've already picked out a team for you to face. You'll help us out, won't you? Okay. Blah, blah, blah. Of course, if we're going to do this thing, both sides should aim for nothing less than victory. Don't half-ass it. Okay. There's a few more things for Dagus to do. Maybe I can power him up a little bit. Oh, and there's this guy. Hey, it's Wolfric. Anyway, the Battle Observer. Speak to me whenever you defeat a new unique monster and I'll record the deed. Wow, okay. I've taken out a lot of these things, haven't I? Except for Parasite Applicus there, I have pretty low times on most of them. Vagrant Balder, he's just pretty high up. Four, four minutes. <laughs> Moonlighting Elwyn, three seconds. All right. I can look around for more Merc missions in a bit. Let's get up to that tree. Oh, and this. Okay. More Grom rice. I think I need botany for that. Either botany or agronomy. I can't remember for sure. Let's try botany. I am at your service. Together at last. <laughs> and other botany blades. Finally, it's my turn. Florin, of course. Ah, uh, the only person, the only people who can engage Florin are Nia and Rex, and Nia's kind of otherwise engaged at the moment. Eh, not worth the time. I made the A-Team! Score! Dora, just take a peek. Me, agriculture is Poppy's specialist Oh, it field. was agronomy. Darn it. Fah. Readied for departure, Master. Been a long time coming. Showtime. Always cute and fierce, though. Hello there. All right, so. Ah. 
Mercenary groups have an influence on the dev level of each country. I had noticed that. Raising a country's dev level will create new business opportunities. Trading with other countries will lead to creation of new products. In turn, work for mercenaries will increase. Completing more missions will further develop the countries and so on. The Garfont mercenaries that Vandom built up are now your responsibility. Yeah, Gron, yeah, I know. But yeah, doing more merc missions rose raised the dev level of the regions the merc missions happened in. And that in turn gave me more missions to do there. Hi, Boreas. There's nothing left for me to eat here. I want to go out and search for new things to eat. Well, no one's stopping you. You could go. What are you waiting for? Ah, whatever. Excavation. Very nice! Optic nerve auxiliary circuit unlocked. Very well. Earth Mastery level 4. Uh, well, Wolfric alone will do the trick. So at least I don't have to it sounds fun. You know, do a whole bunch of stuff with that. What is inside Earth. Sweet salt treats on the auxiliary circuit unlocked. Very well. Okay, and now Very nice. Nopapon's journal. Oh, greetings. You remember me, perhaps? It's Alice Day, the business with the ancient Nopon murals. Is something wrong? Since you got that key, I've been looking at the other evidence at the other evidence of the ancient Nopon in this place. You know whether the hero's treasure from the mural actually existed or not. But it seems you just found it. So how did you get here? Yada yada yada, lots of explanation. That key? In the door of Argentum. Ah, of course. I had heard that there used to be a Nopon base of activities here in the ancient period, yes. So no wonder that would be where the answer is to be found. Did you expect any less from the Zekinator? Blah blah blah. Anyhow, what was this treasure that you found? Hmm, money, a book? This is... This is the logbook of the legendary pirate Captain Nopapon. Pretty classy stuff. Of course, I'm anxious to see what it contains. May I ask, were you sent here by someone else, perhaps? It wouldn't benefit me to stick my nose into incomplete research. I really think I ought to wait, just wait for the study to be published. Okay. Not sure what the point of that conversation was, but... I guess I could come back and tell him what I find out. I have been searching for the origins of Argentum, like I said, so I have a feeling I'm going to be tickled pink by this awesome find. Okay, that was like 200,000 gold. Let's rest a spell. Okay. So, shall we? And these have respawned. All right. Agronomy blades, out you come. Together at last. <laughs> Call on me anytime. Maybe agriculture is a specialist heal. Darn it. Agronomy. Azami does not have agronomy, she has botany. Keep messing that up. Uh, I want a Cassandra, not a zombie. Oh well. Showtime! It's been a long time coming. Always cute and fierce, though. Rododo! Hello, Helper. Give Rododo report. Gaudy box of precious things. Captain Nopapon's logbook. You can have gaudy things. Just show logbook to Rododo. Here you go. We went through a lot to get this. Hmm. Pon, pon, pon. 
Um, pawn, pawn, pawn? This. Wah! Whoa, wee! This book written in unusual combination of ancient and modern Napon. Really? If Rodota decipher this, we'll be able to read ancient Napon writing on stone statue. Hmm, <clears throat> very exciting. Investigate statue. Help her come too. Quick, quick, help her hurry. Rodota went to Naponia Shrine in Argentum. Follow him and discover the truth about Argentum's prosperity. Right up there. We're here. So, shall we? Rododo has deciphered. This statue constructed by ancient Napon to remember Captain Napapon. Rododo performed careful analyze of statue and logbook. Findings reveal incredible surprising thing about history of Napon. Let's hear the details then. Ancient Napon people talk an erudite and grammatically correct language. Huh? Rododo was very shocked. Old Napon writings sound just like posh and educated human talk, but also discover more things. Rododo will read from logbook of Captain Napapon. Help her listen. I am wary, so wary of the long fight for treasure and riches, but I have hit upon a solution. It seems that the non Napon people take us for charming, harmless little balls of fluff. I propose we use this perception to our advantage in diplomacy in order to create a new era of Napon domination. Furthermore, I suggest that we use silly sounding grammatically imprecise sentences. That makes us even cuter. Henceforth, I will fluff my fur, make myself sound extremely silly, and build big, big, good guild of trading for glory of all Napon. Meh, meh, meh. That end of logbook entry. Uh. Indeed, Captain Napapon make Napon speech what it is today. He father of modern Napon speak. Wow, we. <clears throat> this really very big deal. Helper, thank you. Thank you, friends, very much. This amazing discovery will rewrite history books of Napon people. Friend is okay? Like Captain Napapon say, Napon must be cute. This Napon way. Mystery of the door all solve anyway, so Rodoto give up on trying to talk all stoic and cool like. Looks like everything worked out. Wow, we wait till Rodoto tell everybody. <laughs> You know, way, 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 way back in the first episode of this Let's Play, I mentioned that in all Napon use that kind of weird baby talk cadence. And it turns out that the reason they do that is to make themselves cute so that people underestimate them and cause and give them the opportunity to, you know, take advantage of people and become rich. At least that was the original idea. At this point, it's probably lost its effectiveness after so many centuries. Uh, let's see. There is one other thing I can do in Argentum while I'm here. And it's in the warehouse. Let's go. Come out, come out, bad guys! Yeah, definitely the warehouse. But, I need another blade. Um. And actually, now that I think about it... I'm not sure I want to do this. Hmm. No, you know what? I... Yeah, I want to take care of this. Uh, let's see here. problem is I need to engage a different blade and I'm not sure I'm not sure who to uh, toss so to speak well let's you just try leave it this to me. I'll use my brains to put this team to good Stupendous! What a momentous find! Ah! Oh, you gave me a jump! Please, listen! This may well be the discovery of the century! 
Look, just chill out for a second, Adenine. What's all this about? Oh, uh, please, excuse me. I got a little excited, I suppose. I've been reading through all the tomes of Moritha we collected, and after deciphering all four volumes, it seems... It seems... It seems... They reveal the location of a long-lost ancient stone tablet. That sounds... dull. All that reading, and that's what you got. Now, now, isn't that enough? It's knowledge from the past. So, what kind of thing is this ancient tablet? Well, seeing as how the books are known as Tomes of Moritha, I imagine it would contain wisdom from Moritha. In other words, ancient knowledge on a slab. The greatest treasure known to man. Cool, huh? Are you all excited yet? <laughs> Why don't we go looking for it together? Well, that does sound interesting. I think we should do it, Rex. I didn't think you'd be so keen, Pyra. Well, <laughs> I mean, <laughs> it's like a treasure hunt, no? Uh, yeah, I guess. Sure, let's get preparations in order and go. Oh, boy! Yeah! Woo! I knew you'd agree. Thank you, friends. Right. Fortune favors the bold. Let's go. No, see, I said preparations, didn't I? Okay. Adenine's Blade Quest. Look for the stone tablet near Aegis Hammer in Temperantia. Okay then. Now that I have that underway, let's go do something else. <clears throat> Tantal, Theosaur, Anastasius. Let's rest the spell. So, shall we? Okay, so now I need all of that girl's talk. So first of all, Adnine, that was a nice scene that you gave us, but... I've waited for this. And then, uh, Cosmos, temporarily we need to replace you with another ether cannon. Anchoring for our banquets? And then... Zenobia, again, temporarily. My blood boils. So let's see, I have the three of them, and I have... Uh, Cora on Rex. Does anyone else have girl talk? The more of it I have, the better. Blades. Manage. Girls talk. Kara, Praxis, Sheba, Vale, and of course Mithra. Okay. I think that's everyone. And I think I can leave Pyra up front, but just in case I'm wrong about that. suggesting we stop here today yeah is there a problem um hello this kind of boring lame location totally saps my girl power what is girl power and what it got to do with location of in girl power is a girl's driving force girl power is what grants me my awesomeness in battle if girl power gets too low well Life is no longer worth living. Huh? It that important? But 
These inns are pretty much the same, Cora. It's the same old thing, wherever you go. You do sometimes exaggerate things. I never exaggerate. It's hard to even take proper care of your skin in a place like this. Mithra, you know this. I've noticed you've been shrinking into the background lately, like a little wallflower. Wallflower? You mean, no one notices me? Ah, that came out wrong. All I mean is, you could use a little boost in the girl power department. Rex, you're a guy. Don't tell me you haven't noticed that Mithra is lacking a little something. What? Answer carefully, Rex. Huh? Um... I mean... <laughs> how can I, um... Uh, Rex looks like he's gonna blub. Wouldn't want to be you. Nia, maybe we should step in to prevent an escalation. Huh? I I'll pass. Getting in between those two right now would be suicide. Let Charlotte handle it. Uh, nah. Putting the Zekinator in the mix would only exacerbate the situation, eh? Now we get some self-awareness. Then we'll just observe. It's just a bit of banter. How bad can it get? Come on, Mithra. Isn't it time you got a new outfit? Admit it, when was that moth-eaten thing last in fashion? 500 years ago, that's when... Moth-eaten? Well, at least I've got some clothes on. What you're wearing wouldn't cover the head of a goose. <laughs> that's rich coming from you. That look in your face, you know I'm right. You want to see who's got girl power? It's on! Bring it! Yeah? You bring it! Let's say the loser has to, um, do a little dance for everyone. Well, think you can handle it? I can handle it. But Cora, this is practically a done deal. You really want to go there? <laughs> you bet! It's totally a done deal. I'm looking forward to kicking your butt. Hey, guys. Do you really think this is a good idea? You're getting a bit aggressive. Shut, Shut up, up, Rex. Rex. Got it. Okay, let's do this. See you at 1800. You'd better go and work on your girl power. Cora, don't underestimate me. I'll show you. I know the score. See you there. The innkeeper was ducking under the counter. <laughs> Go to the table at Anastasia's in Tantal to start Core and Mithra's girl power contest. Ah, uh, this is basically one long cutscene, if I remember correctly. And we're running a little bit low on time in this episode, so I think I'm going to end it here. Okay, where was that table? Um, where is the table? What table? Okay. Doesn't say. Whatever. Well. Huh. Yeah, I'm not sure where it's where I'm supposed to go for this. It's been a while since I've done this. And it went kind of weirdly last time. I'm not sure if I did it right. Oh well. Again, uh, this is going to have to wait until the next episode. <laughs> so viewers, thank you very much for watching Let's Play Xenoblade Chronicles 2. It's been a very productive episode. Finished that whole uh, quest with Nopon history stuff. That's a really good one, I think. Where it's, it has a very broad 
scope. You know, covering Argentum and meeting that fellow in Moradain, Alice Day, who you s smuggle over to Araya so he can do his research and you know, all of that stuff. Just one big overarching storyline across several side quests. Really, I like the scope of it. It's really cool. So, um, yeah, we accomplished that. We got started on Adney's quest. We've gotten started on Korra's quest. And at least in that latter case, we'll take care of it in the next episode. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you then.